Alright, hi guys. This is going to be my quick tip number two video. And um, I kind of wanted to let you guys know what was going on with um, these videos. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a random video probably once a week. And um, it's just going to, it's going, I'm going to try to keep them pretty short, like under, I don't know, six or seven minutes. And what they are is it's just going to be a quick beauty tip that I know or that I've learned from somebody else or, you know, whatever, and it's just going to be something that's going to help, um, you know, help you with makeup, help you with your hair, skincare, um, whatever. So, um, this is my second one, as I said before, and if you guys haven't watched my first quick tip video, go ahead and check that out. I will link it in the bottom bar, um, but watch this video first, and feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers by um, the end of this year or the first of next year and that's kind of a big goal so um, if you guys could really help me out I really appreciate it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my quick tip number two and um, as a lot of you guys know or you probably know if not then um, listen and you can learn um, it's kind of like a little I don't know a lot a lot of people think it's a myth a lot of people don't that uh, talking on your cell phone against your skin can cause acne, can cause little pimples right there where you, you know, hold your phone. Um, I don't know if this is true or not. I normally don't talk on my phone, you know, pressed against my face because I don't want to take the chance. Um, but I have noticed that when I do talk with, you know, leaning on my phone or holding my phone on my shoulder or something, I have noticed that I will get kind of not really pimples, but I'll kind of get little tiny, uh, little tiny pimples, I guess, like a couple of little tiny bumps, like maybe two or three, wherever my phone was. And of course, nobody wants that. So a little trick that I have learned is um, just to keep your screen uh, clean. And you can use alcohol for this, but I find sometimes alcohol is a little bit harsh and it might burn your skin a little bit. So I like to just take a cotton pad and um, whatever astringent that you're using, if you're not, if you don't use an astringent, then go ahead and use alcohol. But uh, just whatever astringent you're using, I am actually using the one from the Proactive system right now. But um, for some reason, I grabbed this one, and this is just an Equate astringent. Um, it's supposed to deep clean and refresh in your face, which it does. I really like this astringent. I've used um, quite a bit of it. The only reason I stopped using it is because I started using Proactive, but I did really like this. And um, just put a little bit of this on your cotton ball. And what I like to do is um, in the morning or at night, whatever, or both, whenever you are done with um, doing it on your face, whatever you have left over on your cotton ball, just swipe it on your phone. And now I'm not saying to soak the cotton ball, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Just put a little bit on your cotton ball, you know, just a little, see, it's just a little tiny bit. Make sure that it's not going to, you know, drip on your phone or anything. And then I like to just take my phone and see how it's really dirty and got fingerprints and stuff all over it. I just like to swipe this over my screen. And like I said, make sure that you don't have a whole lot on the cotton ball because you don't want to soak your phone. And just um, clean your screen off and just scrub it like that. And, um, you know, make sure that you don't get it inside your phone. And definitely don't do this to the keyboard. The keyboard doesn't need it because you're not going to have your keyboard up to your face. Um, so just scrub it off there, make sure it's nice and clean and dry, and um, you can see how cleaner it looks. You can see right through it like a mirror. It's really, really clean now, and you can see all the fingerprints and everything before. And um, you can't really see the dirt because, like I said, I do this every day, so my phone's not super dirty. Plus, I don't talk against my face that much, but I do like to do this, you know, once a day, like I said, just with whatever is left over on your cotton ball after you've done it to your face. And it seems to really work with my phone. Um, I've noticed that when I do that and I talk on my phone, I don't get those little bumps. So um, it's just a little tip that works for me. I hope this helps some of you guys. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. Please go subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next quick tip video. If you guys um, have any requests or uh, any reviews that you're wanting to do wanting um you know wanting me to do then go ahead and let me know in the comments below or send me an email my email address is in the bottom bar so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys